You know, one of the great things about the community we have here at Handy the Gabby Cabby is when I touch on a subject and somebody else has something to add, they'll send me a message with some more information. That actually happened last night. I got a message from one of the subscribers to this channel about a subject I've looked at, and I'll go through it with you now. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, hope you're doing alright, it's Friday, we've got the weekend tomorrow, let me know what your plans are in the comments below, and more importantly that everybody's okay. We uh, had a good members live last night, and managed to uh, help out a couple of people while we were at it, so uh, not too bad, not too bad, and uh, you know, if anybody's got trouble, just reach out, leave a comment. And, uh, you know, there's loads of people around here that will listen and help if they can. Well, let's have a look at this subject, shall we? It's all to do with the road user charging that they're proposing within London. I had this message, <coughs> and I'll censor it slightly because uh, they, they were a bit colourful. Uh, evening, Andy. I have an important subject that will affect you as you go into London often. Basically, that... Uh, expletive mayor wants to charge you to use the roads and you will have to have an app to pay also it won't just be cars that are charged basically anyone whether they are a cyclist e-scooter rider will be charged rider not writer will be charged please see the link a youtuber called jeff buys cars that's a shout out for him i know he's subscribed to this channel so hello jeff alerted me to it today everyone needs to fight this as it's Big Brother 1984 style rubbish. Not good, mate. Absolutely right, it's not good. And there was an article doing the rounds where Blair and Haig were trying to push the idea of everyone having a digital ID. I don't think that's ever going to go away. That's something that Blair wanted within his time, wasn't it? Well, the link that I was sent, and I leave a link in the description of this video so you can see it as well, is uh, a document entitled Road User Charging Call for Evidence and it's one, two, three, four pages and I, w I won't go through the whole thing because you can read it for yourself uh, but basically uh, it's all to do with the London Assembly Transport Committee and they meet and discuss and hold the Mayor to account and all the rest of it and this is what the first couple of paragraphs say Why is the committee exploring this topic? The London Assembly investigates issues of importance to Londoners and is the body that holds the Mayor to account. That didn't go too well, did it? There's a video Maya Tusi did. Go and check that out. Not very good behaviour by any of them, but it's neither here nor there. For Londoners, the potential introduction of variable or distance-based smarter road user charging would be the biggest change in how daily transport is paid for since the introduction of Oyster and the congestion charge nearly 20 years ago. A number of the Mayor's policy targets mean journeys must shift away from private car use C40 cities uh, towards more active travel and public transport. The Mayor's updated transport strategy has added more definition to plans for the future development of smarter road charging to address the triple challenges of toxic air pollution, the climate emergency and traffic congestion. London already has a road user charging scheme in place including the congestion charge, the low emission zone and the ultra low emission zone. As part of a consultation last year on the Mayor's transport strategy and the ULES expansion, TfL asked for views on the future of road user charging and how it might be implemented. The committee held its first meeting on this investigation on the 14th of December 2022 and heard from the following organisation, Campaign for Better Transport, Business LDN, Centre for London, Possible the Future Federation of Small Businesses and the Rebel Group. The transcript of that evidence session can be found here. There's a link in the document and I'll leave that for you. And a video recording of the meeting can be found here. Again, there's links in the document which I'll leave for you under there. I mean, this all ties in with the C40 city strategy, doesn't it? With all these 
left-leaning mayors that just want to clear all the cars out of the streets. I mean, there's one thing they mentioned there about congestion. There is congestion and they want to charge £12.50 a day. But this is going down very dystopian uh, avenues, I think. I don't like it. It's track and trace for humans and their vehicles. And they will know where we all are at all times, I'm sure. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, this is a really bad idea. I mean, the government, have, I've seen evidence in a video that they're going to step in and say, you're not expanding the ULES, behave yourself. But I don't think even that'll be enough. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you with another one soon. Toodaloo. Blue.